Hello friends, a very good morning to all my little ones. Last week we learned about Joshua and also we learned that we have a God and he will help us to overcome all the difficulties of our life. This week we are going to study a new story. I know you all are ready to hear the new story. Before going to the story, let us close our eyes and pray. Almighty Lord, thank you for this blessed morning. Thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. God, help us to share about you to our friends, neighbors and all people who we meet. Thank you for everything. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Before going to the story, let me ask you my children, did you ever talk about your God to your friends or neighbors? Before this pandemic situation, we used to go to our schools, right? At that time, we meet our friends, we play with them. But did you ever talk about a loving God, a living God to our friends or teachers? If not, don't worry, my dear friends. After listening to this story, we will take a decision together that we will share about our living God to all our friends and neighbors. Today, we are going to learn about a slave girl. Once upon a time, there was a war between Syria and Israel. The Syrians, Arameans, was in a war with Israel people and you know this Israel people suffered a lot. This Arameans or the Syrian people destroyed everything and spoiled everything that Israel people had and also they carried away the little boys and girls to Syria. For what do you know? Yes, to be their slaves. So cruel, isn't it my dear students? Yes, the little girls and boys suffered a lot. At that time, there was a commander in Syrian army. And his name was Naaman. He was the commander of that army, Syrian army. He was very rich and he was in a good position. He also carried a girl from Israel to Syria. And she became the servant of Naaman's wife. She does all the work at his house. She was very unhappy because her father and mother were so far away from her. But she worked so hard for her master. As I told you, Naaman was in a good position and he was also very rich. But you know, there was a problem in that house. Naaman had leprosy. Did you know what is do you know what is leprosy? Yes, leprosy is very dangerous disease. The peculiarity of this disease is that it is a painless disease, but disfiguring of our body, our skin happens when we have leprosy and also it damages our nervous system very sad isn't it nowadays we don't find lepers in our area but before that there were many people who were suffering from this disease my dear students naman also suffered a lot 
the slave little girl was very unhappy seeing this suffering and this girl told to Naaman's wife that ma'am there is a prophet of God in our place in Israel and his name is Elisha he is a man from God he can help this Naaman the lady went and meet, met Naaman and told Naaman the slave girl told us there is a prophet Elisha in her place and they could he could help us from this disease my dear students at first Naaman did not believed it but after that he believed and decided to go to Israel and then he went and met this prophet Elisha there in Israel he just told to dip himself in a river Jordan but Naaman was very angry he told we have enough rivers in our place why should I come here in Israel and dip myself in a small river we have very famous rivers in our place but the servants the wife everyone forced Naaman to dip himself in the river Jordan my dear students they told it's not a big task you can just dip yourself in the river and after this Naaman decided to go to Jordan river Jordan and dip himself in the river the first time he dipped himself in the river but nothing happened he looked at his hands oh nothing happened the same he cried out but again he dipped himself for the second for the third and the fourth time nothing happened and the fifth and the sixth time also he dipped him himself my dear students nothing happened he became so angry why no change why should I uh, do one more time but prophet Elisha told them to dip Naaman himself to the river for seven times and this wife told Naaman just one more time do it and Naaman did the same my dear students do you want to know what happened yes he became cured his face his face his hands his skin became like a baby he was so happy he jumped he danced with joy and praised the Lord my dear students see how great our God is he loves us and he cares us so much my dear students see the slave girl is the reason for the miracle isn't it yes we all are little girls and boys and we think oh what can I do for God but you have a responsibility to lead others to God so that they can also experience the miracles of God now will you go and tell to your friends and neighbors that we have a living God in heaven yesterday last week we heard that we have a loving God who will give a solution but today in this class we are going to learn we learned that we have a living God in heaven my dear students we have a responsibility to talk to share about our God with our friends and neighbors we will take a good decision together that from today I will talk I will share about my living God to all the people in the world after the story we will learn about father Damien do you know about father, this father he was a man from God 
Father Damien was very young. At his young time, he felt a calling from God to be a missionary for God. You know, he became a priest and in his ninth year of priesthood, he, was call, he has another call from his bishop and his bishop told him, are you willing to go to Molokai to serve for lepers? My dear students, do we be ready to go with this problem, to go and face the lepers? Maybe no. My answer will also be no. But this father Damien decided to go to Molokai to serve lepers. My dear students, they, he served them, he fed them, he built houses for them. But one day he understood that he lost his sensation and he, is also, he was also affected by leprosy. After many years, he died because of this leprosy. My dear students, this father, Father Damien, is a role model for all of us. We are called to serve for our Christ and for others. Maybe many religion, many caste, many creed, color are here in the society. But God loves everyone. And it is our responsibility to love every people, all the people in this world, in spite of the color, creed, the religion, the gender, anything. My dear students, when you grow up, you will be entered into a new society. You will face many people, but never ever try to discriminate anyone. Try to accept everyone and serve God. Today, we have two Bible verses to learn. I know you all are ready to learn the new Bible verses. First one is very simple and very small. Psalm 105 verse 2. Psalm 105 verse 2. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell all his wonderful acts. One more time I'll repeat. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. And the second Bible verse is also very simple and small. Psalm 23 verse 4. Psalm 23 verse 4. For you are with me, road and your staff, they comfort me. My dear students, we are taking a good decision today that I will accept everyone, I will love everyone and I will share about God to everyone. Will you take a decision with me? Thank you my dear students for listening to this class. We have a song, a chorus to learn. Are you ready to learn this chorus? Just four lines. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Thank you my dear students for listening to today's class. God bless you and I will pray for you all and you will also, you should also pray for me. We will pray together for this world so that God will heal this world. Thank you. Let's close our eyes and pray. Thank you for God for listening all our prayers and all, giving all our needs in our life. God, we know that you are strong, mighty, and you love us so much. My dear God, help us to share your words, your miracles.
to others so that all the people in the, this world will know you and will trust you. Help us to obey your words and your deeds. Thank you for everything, my God. Thank you for listening to this prayer. All this we ask in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Bye.